Good evening, lacrosse fans, and welcome to the Brampton Memorial Arena. We believe we are watching the Brampton Excelsiors and the Six Nation Chiefs in the Major Series Lacrosse. Starting goaltender was supposed to be Brandon Miller for Six Nations, and it is instead Dustin Hill. And it is now one nothing, as we were told, and it was supposed to be starting netminder Brandon Miller for Six Nations. But it is Dustin Hill as Brandon Miller with that new beautiful mask, as you may have seen on Twitter, did not come complete with a throat guard. So Brent Colomb and Blair Ferguson asking him to find one. So. There's a lot of scrambling going on right now on the Six Nations bench, and it is Dustin Hill getting the start. A, a different look Six Nations lineup than the one that we are more accustomed to seeing here. As a lot of their top players, we know how many Six Nations players the Georgia Swarm of the NLL have picked up, and they've made it to the finals of the National Lacrosse League, so they're waiting for a number of their guys to get back. So a, a new look lineup as Brampton looks to be running on all cylinders here. As Phil Caputo gets the second goal. And this could be a long couple, couple minutes as looks like Rich Kilgore is going to burn his time out here. Uh, Nolan Clayton, there's a look at him in front of the Brampton bench, is the starter tonight for the Brampton Excelsiors. It almost looked like they were going to switch throat guards. Brandon Miller looking for one. Now the issue starts to become. He looks pretty agitated underneath us here on that bench. So how much is this playing into his mentality as a starting goaltender you start the preparation you get things going and it doesn't work out as you would have planned so this could be interesting here Brampton leads 2-0 and it's immediately put up top for Bennett Drake and another one here for Brampton as they make it 3-0 Warren Hill and Dylan Ward of course normally the goaltenders for this Six Nation Chiefs team as Jordan Durston now gets a face off and that one shot wide as they went past Nolan Clayton. Back up top here for Craig Point who had a mammoth night on Monday, I believe. Tuesday, pardon me, in the home opener. 14 to three as we mistakenly set off the top. But this time Point's gonna shoot it off the board. It's coming off Bench Mike Root, we believe, wearing the Johnny Powell's jersey. Wayne Van Every sneaking through. As it looks like Brandon Bomberry is going to get in the way of that. Six years in junior for Bomberry, as he's now playing his second straight major series lacrosse game. Did see not his first season with the Chiefs. He had a couple call ups throughout his junior career, but first full time season here in major series. Off the bench, TJ Sanders now. He'll push into the corner. And Brandon Robinson has it now. We'll also see Connor Brown on the floor tonight, a late addition, number 33, as Burke has it. This one's going to bounce past Dustin Hill. And it looks like everything is taken care of on the bench beside us. Brandon Miller getting ready, and they will, in fact, make the switch as Dustin Hill makes his way to the bench and Brandon Miller is back in. So the big story off the top has now sorted itself out, but it's three nothing in favor of Brampton. Make that three to one. As the shot comes through there for Six Nations and I believe that was Wayne Van Every. Defending Man Cup champion Six Nation Chiefs celebrating their 25th anniversary year as well point in front of his own bench. Brampton looking for the hit, but holding up just shy of the bench. 
as we've played three and a half minutes here. Down the far side, Rob Marshall has it. Quickly there for Bromberry, wearing the Mike McNamara jersey. That one's going to elude him, and Nolan Clayton will pick it up. Starting down the far side, Phil Caputo running into it now. Quinn Pallas and Robinson late off the bench. Uh, as a big swim move there from Caputo. That one just shot wide. I don't even know what that is that they've attached to the mask. It looks like just a piece of plastic that they've strung <laughs> underneath of it. As Wayne Van Every wheels the far side. Bomberry through the middle. That gets behind Clayton, but not far enough to go on goal. Collision there between Tyler Ferreira and Mike Burke. Tyson Bell up for an offensive shift. Went to set a pick there, looking to release Jordan Dance, but it will now come back to Ferreira, who takes the shot. Defender had lost his stick as Tyson Bell collides. And now going down hard, Patrick Corbett. As I believe that was Bell filling him in. Tyson Bell after the loose ball. Now Bomberry coming in. Luke Magden getting in his way. As now Corbett returns the favor. They're on Bell right in front of the timekeeper's bench. And Six Nations will work back the other way. A low shot and a goal. Jordan Durston, I think. Turkey gobble underneath. As he shakes out his head a little bit. Feeling out the mask now, it's going to dangle. Interesting start to the Brampton Memorial major, major series lacrosse season. Down the far side, Matthew Bennett. On his wrong side as the bench is screaming that, but he's going to shoot up. Looked, looked wide. They're going to say Miller got a piece as it skips off the boards, the glass, and then the protective netting. And here's Burke. Mike Burke for TJ Sanders now. Sanders returns to Burke on the far side. Stepping up in front of him was Root as Burke takes the shot. Miller with the save. And now it's going to be returned back. Sanders, Burke into the corner here. Caputo crashing low. He now stands up his man. As it comes back for Jordan Dance. That shot coming through. Miller goes down low to make the save. As Durston's now going to work it down the far side. Jordan Durston cutting back. Near side for Bomberry. Two guys who have played a lot together as they came up through the junior ranks. Bomberry chases this all the way down after he hits a couple classes. Seven on the shot clock. Skipping away there from Corbett. He's going to get back to Van Every now as he takes a shot. Clayton able to make the save rebound. Rolls into the corner. Patrick Miles can't pick it up clean. And now Rob Marshall fills in his man. Getting up afterwards, Luke Magden goes straight after Van Every. Van Every in the corner, a low shot off the pipe. And this one's going to be a foot race down the floor, leading the charge. Patrick Corbett, Brandon Miller out to play for it, though. Brampton started 3-0 while Brandon Miller was out of the net. He replaced Dustin Hill, and now it's been the last two going the way of Brampton to make it 3-2. With about two minutes and 10 seconds gone here in period number one. Quinn Pallas down the far side. Pallas takes the shot. This one's going to go up over top of everything. Off the foot of Brandon Miller. And Brampton will get a fresh 30 here. Sanders. Over to the far side, Miller goes low, was actually on his side when that one rolled clear of the crease. But it will be Six Nations heading down the far side of the floor. Quinn Pallas on defense now as Durston takes top spot. Craig Point takes a number of stick slaps as he worked his way around it, ended up in the corner. Now Durston will have it and send it to the far side. Cutting back is Briar Jonathan. Up top here for Shane Simpson, who will wear number 11 tonight. Simpson to the far side. Jonathan faked the shot, looking for Durston. All over him, though, is Liam Burns wearing number six. 
And they're gonna get it back to Durston, it looked like, who turns and fires and ties this thing up. Just so a couple goals now for Durston, who was in tight, spins and fires with tight defense. And that one's just gonna go through the legs of Nolan Clayton. To the faceoff dot here, Bennett Drake. A parting shot for Patrick Corbett, who won it quite cleanly. Now it'll be Bomberry. Bomberry outside. Playing catch, Bomberry with it off the shoulder of Clayton. It rolls back into the corner. Six Nations with it, working out into the middle. Ryan Banesh will go set a pick. Banesh gets the return feed and just one step on Patrick Miles. He's been doing this for years here in Major Series as Ryan Banesh. And that's gonna give Six Nations their first lead of the game. As he got a step on Miles and shot goes through. Drake losing another face off here to Corbett. And that forces Matthew Bennett to get back on defense. A couple stick whacks as it rolls into the corner. Point and Banesh keeping it high. Down into the corner, Point cutting through. One hand on the stick, draws the penalty, but still gets the goal. Man, that's a good one there from Point as Matthew Bennett couldn't quite keep up on defense. Drink, they've taken apart somebody's slash guard and, <laughs> and strung it to the bottom of his, <laughs> bottom of his mask. Which I guess appeased the officials and qualified as a throat guard. Julian Garitano pushes it through his legs and this shot's gonna be just wide as Liam Burns came running in after the big time scramble in front of Six Nations net. Quinn Palace came over last year as part of the Dawson brothers trade at the trade deadline. Of course, one that was discussed in great detail from here at the Brampton Excelsiors, but Quinn Palace, the end of his season last year was absolute dynamite here with the Excelsiors. Ferreira tangled up there with Bomberry. The bench arguing for a penalty call, none upcoming though, as Bomberry will go into the corner. Ferreira on defense, now point to Van Every in the corner, Durston now. In the middle, Marty Hill, the only one who hasn't touched it as Bomberry will go far side. Off the glass to Van Every. As we hit the halfway mark of the first period. Durston's shot can't find its way through as Luke Magnan got a piece. A couple seasons ago in the playoffs, Luke Magnan, hard-nosed defender here for Brampton. As this shot's gonna almost look like it hit Clayton high. As he gives the thumbs up to the official. <laughs> no reaction as he was staring down Bomberry. Just gave the thumbs up, but it will be started on the far side with Wayne Van Every. Far side, Banesh. Now point. And Bomberry. Shot taken as it comes off the wall. Bomberry looked like he was going to go in to play defense, but he does peel off as Tyson Bell will run it up the far side. Calgary Roughneck draft pick Tyson Bell. Taking that shot out of the St. Catharines Athletics program. As Craig Point has it again. Durston, Briar Jonathan now in the middle. As is Rob Marshall. Marshall the pick and gets it back and then turns as Liam Burns runs over Marshall. It's a way to introduce yourself to major series, I would think. Rob Marshall. Tough defender here for Six Nations. Rushes in, takes that shot, and an arm save made by Clayton. Brampton said that Marshall was in the crease, but the ball hadn't arrived. No look pass here to the cutting point. Man, Burns is throwing his weight around down there as he dropped Marshall on the previous play and then nearly filled in Craig Point, who was cutting to the net. 
Shouldn't be long though before the Chiefs realize that and throw a fake, you would think, as that shot from Bomberry tipped off a stick before hitting the boards. Briar Jonathan gives chase. And Blair Ferguson was counting the shot clock and before he got beamed by that shot. Bounces straight to Brampton though, and Brampton led by their captain this year, Mike Burke, will slow it down. Here for Jordan Dance. He takes position in the middle, out of the corner here, looking for, I believe that's Caputo, back for Dance. A number of stick fakes before Burke has to take it off the carpet. Around his shoulder, oh, Jordan Outby in the corner, tried to shovel it into the open side, and it goes just wide as he looks skyward. Seven and a half left in the first period. Already eight goals between these two teams. Five straight for Six Nations though. Here's Banesh up top. Odd play there as Matthew Bennett was looking the other way, thinking Banesh was gonna take the shot, is gonna end up with the ball and the goal as he goes coast to coast. As if the shot was taken, got a bit of the stick check, realizes it in enough time to grab the rebound, head down the floor and beat Brandon Miller to make it 5-4 now in favor of Six Nations. Number 16 tonight is Justin Gill. There's a lot going on in that uniform with the yellow and white gloves and the, or pardon me, the green and white gloves and the yellow bucket, as well as the Ethan O'Connor jersey, but that is Justin Gill tonight as the Chief shot went off the backboards. Caputo with speed off the bench. Goes far side for Quinn Palace. Palace staring down Briar Jonathan. Palace dancing around here. A couple Excelsiors could have handled that pass, but it ends up in the stick of Brandon Robinson. Tied at fives. Here at Brampton Memorial Arena, major series lacrosse action on the JVI Sports Network. YouTube.com slash JVI Sports Network. Be sure to subscribe there for notifications of all of our tape delayed games and our live games, including coming up this Sunday from the Coburg Community Center, Kodiak's, Coburg Nissan Kodiak's lacrosse coming your way on the JVI Sports Network this Sunday. Banesh rolling outside, gets the pass back from Wayne Van Every. He's in a set of brief pick and then find space. Bomberry to Van Every, off the foot of Clayton and up out of play. That'll be souvenir for someone. As Six Nations rolls it around. Here's Banesh, now Bomberry. Bomberry a step on Garitano. And then the dive, and Clayton able to catch up with him, but it is a crease violation. Tyler Ferreira. Pushes it to the far side, Caputo. The pick came from Palace and actually pushed Corbett into Caputo. So now they have to reset on the left side of the floor. Palace all by himself, him and Marty Hill. As Quinn Palace puts it in the corner, he's gonna try a dive and ends up in the crease. As Miller made the save, pushing up the floor with speed though, Shane Simpson takes the shot. Clayton now with a save. As this, we know the sport of lacrosse is a game of momentum, but momentum coming in fits and bursts on either side, not necessarily goals for either team. Although it was three nothing Excelsior, then five for Six Nations, and Brampton's got the last two but seem to be spending a lot of time in each other's offensive zones before turning the ball over. As we're in the final five minutes here as Banesh will shoot it off the leg of Matthew Bennett. There was a lot of noise from underneath of us as if something happened in front of the bench, but nothing to report as Banesh will now feed Durston who goes into the feet of Clayton. Jogging up the far side, Matthew Bennett, as we near four minutes left here in period one. As Robinson is looking for Quinn Palace, it skips off the boards into the stick of Marty Hill. He's gonna 
feed Jacob Kranz, I believe that is, the long hair flowing out the back. And Wolf. Ferreira, I think, danced out of the way of that check. As it was in the corner as it comes back here for Corbett. He goes after Quinn Palace as those two end up in the corner. The bench of Brampton now asking for a holding call. Corbett works over Palace all the way down the floor before he finally finds room. Justin Gill in his face. So he elects to pass off. Bennett Drake there. First taste of carpet burn for one of these players on the beautiful green turf, former Powerade Center turf that will be down for the duration of the season here at the Memorial Center. Some of the junior A Excelsior saying that took a bit of getting used to just because of the different surface, but throughout the OLA you will find a mixture of hard floor and turf. Of course, Six Nation Chiefs, no stranger to it as they play at the ILA. Definitely beautiful and it will host the Junior A Minto Cup earlier, later on this year, pardon me. Rob Marshall went straight through his man, so they call that a moving pick. And the Excelsiors will head back down the floor. TJ Sanders with it. Sanders, Gill gets picked out of his way. Here's Burke, Tyson Bell, putting stick on anyone in a white jersey. Initial save made by Brandon Miller and unable to pick it up out of the crease was Phil Caputo or he had an open look. Big collision down the far side as Burke ends up hitting the floor. Back for Van Every. Van Every and Bomberry. Counts I believe is on the floor with Brent Colomb. As Craig Point will let one rip from up top. And Clayton able to hang on to that and make that floor count a non-factor. Two minute warning. Tied at five between Brampton and Six Nations in major series. Quinn Palace slipped the first defender, but not the second as that shot didn't miss the far side by much. There from Sanders, couple Excelsiors racing down the floor. Six on the shot clock as Clayton looking for someone to pass to. This one down the floor and into the stick of Brandon Miller. Another winter goaltender who has to switch to that big stick, the woody stick. There are a couple different ones downstairs though in the locker room area. And it's dyed Six Nations colors, so it's not his winter Toronto Rock stick as Bomberry takes Luke Magden into the boards as the pair of 21s collide. Ball's gonna be put up out of play as Six Nations desperately tried to beat that shot clock and were unable to do so. Final minute here in the opening frame. A lot closer than many may have expected as Jordan Dance will go up to Burke looking for Caputo with one hand on his stick. Marshall gave a huge whack on the near side to I believe that's Mike Melnichenko recognize those orange sneakers anywhere in winter or summer ball as Van Every goes down the far side. Garitano briefly picked out of the way. Now Ferreira gets tangled with Banesh as Durston's gonna reach over top and take the shot with 23 seconds left in the period. Burns will duck around the stick check as it's played for Jordan Dance. Over for Burke. Clayton to the bench, they'll go six attackers looking for the lead here at the end of the first period. Here's Caputo, Burke, Palace in the corner, three left. Caputo can't hang on, Palace with it and Six Nations will pick it up right at the end of the period and your score after one is tied at five. And, and it looks like Dustin Hill is gonna start period number two as well as he did in the first. So not sure if there's still mask issues or what for Brandon Miller. Don't see him on the bench, but he will step to his right and make the save. Not sure where the rebound is as it was stuck in the crease and Miller does 
appear in behind the net of Dustin Hill. And Brampton bench calling for a too many men call as Bomberry takes a shot in on Nolan Clayton who remains in the game. Now in the net to our right obviously as Banesh takes the shot off the crossbar and straight down. And that should give Six Nations a chance to put Brandon Miller back in net. And they do. A nifty one here. Takes a funny hop off the crossbar and goes straight down to now make it 6-5 opening goal of the period. Goes the way of Six Nations. Vaughn Harris. Couple whacks there on the Brampton faceoff man. As now Matthew Bennett will push it into the corner. Held on to by Mike Burke. Burke over the top. This one's gonna skip off the carpet all alone on the crease. Miller coming out of the crease to try and take that one away from Melnichenko. May have got a piece of his stick on it. Otherwise Melnichenko was all alone in front. Von Harris coming down the far side. Harris for Van Every takes a couple steps. Not sure if he was trying to avoid the screen of Crawford or make sure that he used the screen effectively as now Corbett is gonna look for a cutting Bomberry. Two on the shot clock and there it is. The Ripper that scores. So Six Nations will lead by two. Both of those goals here in the second period. Bennett Drake coming in off the faceoff and he gets filled in by Briar Jonathan. Man, we've seen some hits in this game. As now Justin Gill is on his man. Pardon me, it's Craig Point on the goal. Point from Corbett who now has three assists. As Patrick Corbett, as Justin Gill will pick this one up. Gill will stop at center, gives for Craig Point. So he comes off the bench. Point has Banesh and Van Every now Marshall and Durston in behind the net. Point was basically left all alone there, but now Durston a nice pickup out of the pile. His shot rebound rolls into the far side and Jordan Dance there to take it off the wall. Dance up the far side for Tyler Ferreira. Ferreira, he's gonna walk off and then definite hold there. But Brampton is going to get one back as Ferreira comes through and is, as we said in the first, momentum kind of swinging back and forth here a little bit in terms of goals, but also floor momentum is now two to start for Six Nations and Brampton gets one back. Another collision in on the boards. Liam Burns letting that hair flow out the back. Passes to another good flow for Tyson Bell. Low shot on the near side from Bennett Drake. He gets chased down by Marty Hill and now Brandon Miller will pick it up as he comes out of the crease. Into the corner, Bomberry. Bomberry's got one off the bench, it's Banesh. A nice pick up, as that one eluded him off on the glass. Banesh backs away from pressure. Back to the half boards once again. Around one pick, and the second one for Briar Jonathan who gets the shot through. Clayton able to make the save. Three and a half minutes in, we've had three goals so far, two for the Chiefs and one for Brampton to make it 7-6 in favor of Six Nations. As Quinn Palace now collides with the pile. Shooting it just wide as Palace goes for the pickup. Corbett just taking the ball as he had the angle. Goes to the net as well. And Corbett is gonna score. That's his first game goal of the game, but now with four points. Take the shot. Clayton coming to the bench here. Are we gonna have a goalie switch? with Marco Selic, yes we will. As Selic running his way in, Selic's first action. One of those guys who just goes to everything looking for a job, 
and just loves to play the game. So he's going to get a shot here. <laughs> Looking for a job, and guess when it happens against the defending Man Cup champions. Look at Tyson Bell here playing up on Van Every as Bell's actually going to take Van Every into the boards. Van Every with some words for Bell as he got up. As the Chiefs work into the corner in the pass just too far for Kyle Jackson in the double sevens. Rolls to the far side, Shane Simpson looking for it. As we set off the top, a number of season regulars, guys like Dane Smith, Sid Smith, Randy Stotts, Cody Jamison, Stephen Keel, the Dawsons, Billy D. Smith, not in the lineup, Shane Smith. Shane Simpson, pardon me, does go off here. He's gonna get a penalty and Nolan Clayton will come back in after the brief breather and Burke is up top. He's got Caputo off to his right. Here for Quinn Palace. Burke collides with his man as Brandon Miller makes the save. Marty Hill calling for the pass off the bench. Jordan Durston, and that just tips off the head of his stick. Luke Magnin under the low bridge. 14 and a half left in the period. As Ferreira takes it down the far side. Quinn Palace into the corner. Bennett Drake up top for Burke. Back to Ferreira again. Last one is in the corner. Jordan Dance looking for the rebound is Dance. And that one's just going to skip away from him into the stick of Marty Hill. Briar Jonathan running into it. Jonathan for Bomberry. Banesh off the bench. What a save from Clayton working to his left and putting the arm up. His best by far of the night as that brief breather worked to perfection. 50 seconds left. In the power play for Brampton, which you see on screen, 15 on the shot clock. Robinson, now for Banesh, coming back here for Burke. Tried to finesse it through the legs, and that forced the pirouette from Brandon Miller, but he was able to sit on it in desperation. And now shot clock will turn off for the final 30 seconds of this Brampton power play. Into the far corner. They continue to work it around quickly to Kyle Jackson. Now in the corner again for Van Every. 10 seconds left in the penalty. Van Every walks out of the corner, switching spaces with Jackson. And we are about to go all even as we do right now. Far corner, big pick. In front of Vaughn Harris, who came over the top. Clayton there to make the save. Jordan Dance briefly lost his footing before Miller there to make the save. And it'll be put down the far side. Closing in on the halfway mark of regulation. About two and a half away from that as Durson's going to chase into the corner. Looking for Banesh as it was too high for him. And a couple others couldn't pick it off for Brampton, and that's going to cost them as it comes back for Craig Point. Harris to the face-off dot. He will win it and try and elude Quinn Palace. Looking for the pass. That ball may be stuck in his stick, but he faked it nicely. And then makes sure that he gets rid of it. Bit of change of direction on the shot there just at the last second by Kyle Jackson. And Clayton all the way down the floor for Leon Burns. Burns leaving for Bell. Burke behind the net for Paulus. Oh, he just couldn't release the shot he had. Just over the elbow on the stick side, wide open behind Miller. But Quinn Palace just having a double clutch. Here's Point. Oh, man, he's dialed in right now. That one just skipping off the post. 
as Point was looking for number four. Here's Bomberry. Luke Magden intercepting though as it'll turn back Brampton's way. Ferreira ducks under the first check and over top of Miller, but skipping off the carpet and out of play. So the Chiefs will now try and push the pace. Slowing it down for Shane Simpson though. as they s go back and fo forth across the floor so nicely. <laughs> and they seem to have figured out Nolan Clayton here tonight on the outside shots. Here's Tyson Bell. Bell for Bennett Drake. Drake will get one back here for Brampton on his second of the game. As here's Bell. Looking for Burke. Vaughn Harris from Van Every and Durston. A call of goal 10. This is a big collision in front as the Chiefs get set up here again. Here's point to Bomberry on the far side. Bell going nicely with him. A big whack right into the kidney pads. Makes him a big booming crack. And the shot off the boards. A rumbling boom. Hard hit there as Jake Kranz runs over his man. I think he ate that shot off the helmet before sending Phil Caputo flying. As, pardon me, that's Leo Sturis. Pardon me, no, Jacob Kranz wearing the Leo Sturis jersey who went straight to the bench. Shrugs off the trainer though as Banesh takes a bounce shot in for Clayton. Clayton making a couple of saves. The Chief Bench arguing the second one was a save off of a Brampton player, but Brandon Miller going to make sure that non-call doesn't make a difference as he makes the save. Patrick Corbett, he's been quick in transition here in this game tonight as he's gonna pick up another loose ball with Brandon Robinson all over him. Ball up top though for Briar Jonathan, back for Jordan Durston. And we'll get a, looks like a holding penalty coming here. And it'll be to Brampton, I believe. Leading 10-7. And they'll start up top with Banesh. Banesh and Harris via the corner. Banesh over to point. Looking for the quick stick shot. That one just rolls briefly to the boards. Point with it back, another no look pass. Point's gonna get it back over for Banesh. Clayton at his mercy, and he gets the stick up to take his shot away. Jordan Durston. Point in the corner, Harris. Up top here, Kyle Jackson. That shot from Vaughn Harris skipping off the pipe. Durston, Banesh, Harris, Point. Back for Banesh again, down low. And Durston all alone, and that one just skips off the head of the stick. That actually allowed Clayton, nice read there, noticing the shot was coming from Banesh. He's gonna ping off his shoulder as the Chiefs will bring it back. <laughs> Brampton looking for the interception. Pardon me, I think that was Durston who Got his stick in the way before it went up out of play because it goes back down the floor, but quickly eluding the Brampton player. Brandon Miller starts it back. Here's Banesh. Ryan Banesh over his shoulder as Jackson will put a spin on the end of that and trying to kick it ahead now after losing the stick was Jordan Houtby. And the Joe Rasateritz jersey, Houtby kicking it all the way into the corner. It's a nice play without the stick. Over for point, back for Durston. 
Couple sticks coming up to try and take it off the glass as Liam Burns is gonna bring it all the way down and then he's filled in after the fact. Just as we go back to five on five. As he's going to make it 10-8 after a Brampton penalty kill. Vaughn Harris looking for the ball off the faceoff and he will win it for the Chiefs. As they push to the far side as we've hit the last seven minutes of the second period. Burns unassisted. The call of the goal as Tyson Bell picks it out of the corner. Looking to lead Matthew Bennett. Bennett in just one step from Brandon Miller. Nice and calm and quiet in that crease. You can see the difference. We've seen all four goaltenders in this game. And he's got obviously the experience advantage over all of them as there's Clayton collapsing over top of a shot. But you just notice how calm Brandon Miller is in that crease. Here's Quinn Palace looking for his man and they can't connect as Jacob Kranz gets taken out of the play. Quickly down the floor, the shot there from Mike Root and Clayton will make the save. Clayton with a peak for the clock, six minutes left. Brampton still in this one, trailing by two. As Mike Melnichenko collides with his man. Burke over the top, into the corner for Melnichenko again. Pick in front, Melnichenko trying to shovel it towards the goal. Oh, they had one back door, but just double clutching there from Brandon Robertson and Miller with the save. And the sti stick taps of approval from his benchmates. Here's Burke. Kranz in his face. Over to Robinson, another sidearm shot. He's trying to get through a crowd. Looking for the one-handed pickup now is Robinson in the corner. Briar Jonathan all over him. Robinson does come away with it though with four on the shot clock. And it'll be intercepted by Root. As Corbett, man. Every time there's a loose ball in that spot, it seems to be Patrick Corbett who comes away with it. And he's done this a couple times tonight as well. Five points for Patrick Corbett. And it is now an 11 to eight lead for Six Nations. Once they got Brandon Miller back in the first though, I mean, they scored five straight. They did open the period with two. We were tied after one. So Brampton just hanging on here and not willing to go away as Rob Marshall backs away. Up till now, the MSL season though, very early. Oh, look at the couple of saves there from Clayton with Wayne Van Every in front of him. Don't look past those two stops as Van Every can definitely put one home. Down to four minutes left here in the period. As they work into the corner, here's Palace. Season is in the first week. As we said, it's gone pretty much the way we'd expect as Quinn Palace couldn't just reach around Miller to put that one in, but here's Jake Kranz. Brampton looking for the first upset of the year tonight. Oh, wide open net for Banesh, and he puts his head in his hands. Big smile underneath. He's going to hear it when he comes back. Yeah, uh, yep, there it is. The, ri the ribbing begins even before he steps on the bench. Bit of a grace moment there for Brampton as Ryan Benesh does not miss a wide open cage very often. Here's Harris now setting the pick as Bomberry works around. Big shot. Durston will be the first one to get after the rebound, but can't pick it up as it came and hit off the glass. Luke Magnin will lead the charge. Over to the far side, shoveled ahead by Matthew Bennett. One already, not two this time. Here's Corbett looking for the hat trick as Bomberry found him. And Corbett quickly after the rebound extends the possession for the Chiefs. What a game for Corbett so far. Corbett and Bomberry all the way up top for Durston. On to the half boards now looking for Banesh. Banesh 
Works around a pick from Durst, and he wants revenge, and I think that one hit somebody in front and changed directions, but you knew Banesh was going to be looking. Banesh walked in front of former teammate and now offensive coordinator for this Chiefs team, John Tavares, and said, I'll try and shoot. No more quick sticks. And that caused that end of the bench to chuckle a little bit. Very close to the benches here in Memorial Arena. It's a great place for us to watch the game. Definitely a historic one now as Jordan Houtby sends his man flying into the corner. Bit of a yard sale there. As prior Jonathan was upended. Stick and glove, everything went flying. Here's Burke looking to the five hole in a nice reaction save there by Miller as miscommunication, Tyson Bell nearly came up with it, but it's gonna be Shane Simpson bringing it in. Not in the stick of Kyle Jackson, very long. And then out in front of the crease. But at any rate, it's now a five goal lead, 13 to eight. In favor of Six Nations. Okay. Mike Root. It was actually Rob Marshall on the goal. Picking it up out of the crease, and Rob Marshall scoring here for Six Nations. Closing in on the final minute of play here in the period, as Caputo has it. Up top for Burke, to the far side. Dancing all the way across is Sanders. They get it to the crease and finding Ferreira and he'll finally stop the run here below us. But Rich Kilgore just reminding his guys, finish the period strong. And he said, let's go boys. I think that's the first time I've heard his voice all night. But Tyson Bell corralling the face off and a hard shot there from Caputo. Miller makes the save over for Drake. Bell cutting through. Put a little bit of a move on the end of that shot. Miller with the save, rebound rolls into the corner. A couple of Brampton players working over Marty Hill. And Hill's gonna kick it forward. And this will be Durston trying to run the floor. 22 seconds and it'll stop. 20.6 as Six Nations calls timeout. A big period for them so far. Looking for last shot with Brandon Miller coming to the bench. It'll be Harris starting it, now Banesh. And Jackson, Banesh. Keeping it high is Six Nations. 10 left in the period, into the corner for Durston with seven. Here's Durston around his back to point. Clayton making the save. It's in the crease, down the floor. Enough time here for Crawford, scores! And that will count. And you can make it 13-10. At the end of the period, as the Chiefs play backfires a little bit, and Tyler Ferrero with the tap on the head there for Clayton. We wait the face-off for period number three between the Brampton Excelsiors and the Six Nation Chiefs, and we are underway, a three-goal lead so far for the visiting Chiefs. Again, both sides definitely not the lineups that they will look like as this season takes shape as we're only in the first season, uh, first week of the season, pardon me. As we've already got a stick on the floor. Close to the crease of Nolan Clayton, who's in the net to our left. Bram Brampton working left to right here. As you're watching Major Series Lacrosse on the JVI Sports Network. Right in front, here's Jordan Houtby taking the shot and a save made by Brandon Miller. Again, a tight game here. Probably tighter than most would have expected after the 14 to three beating that the Chiefs put on the Kodiaks in their home opener the other night. And there's a big hit along the boards as Brampton will work this out over center. 
Brampton Memorial Arena will host the Minto Cup in Junior A this year as well as diving to the crease. They'll call the crease violation against Phil Caputo. That one was close. I think Brampton looking for the flag there. Head, new head coach, Steve McCarthy. As Craig Point from up top already with three in the game. Craig Point now tied up with Luke Magnet. As those two work, work over each other. Quinn Palace up top takes a whack from Point. They come back here for Jordan Dance. He's scored one already in this game. As Brandon Robinson will now turn and fire off the backboards. Five on the shot clock as Clayton's going to come out. And he'll bomb this one down the floor. <laughs> that one looked like it was a lot closer to the net than Brandon Miller was willing to give it credit for. But the shot clock does go without harm as now Vaughn Harris will send it far side looking for Banesh. Banesh spins away. Back here for Van Every. It's going to drop as they were looking for Banesh in the corner again. Vaughn Harris wearing his Calgary Roughnecks helmet proudly after his debut season in the National Lacrosse League. Caputo down the far side. Burke clears out Justin Gill as it comes back for TJ Sanders. Sanders with room. Room closes quickly though. They go back to Burke. He looked to go, looked like five hole on Miller and that big stick making the save as Gill is gonna pick up. As we've been doing all season on our lacrosse coverage throughout the OLA, whether it be Junior A or here in Major Series, gotta give the shout out to Yellow Buckets as we've now played three minutes here in period number three and the lead is three for Six Nations. Big pick up top for Durston. Tyson Bell fills him in after the fact. As there was no call, as it'll come along the boards for Van Every. Reset of the shot clock as they go far side. Durston now playing it off the boards. Durston, swim move and a return pick. As the shot comes in on Clayton. Durston and Bell tangled up in behind the play. As now it's Luke Magden bringing it in. Bennett Drake shooting that one low on Miller. Down the far side, Jake Kranz. He'll slow up. Now sends a bounce pass over the far side. Banesh the pick, now the roll, and Clayton the save, as that was all started by Kyle Jackson. Nice play on both ends there. As now Quinn Pallas, pace actually picking up here in period number three. As Patrick Corbett, he's been full out since the start of the first period off the opening faceoff, but he was streaking down the floor that time. As now Bomberry, the big whack on Jason Crawford. Crawford with the buzzer beater down the floor to get us where we are right now. Nolan Clayton picking up the assist after a big shoulder save. He's made a couple of those high in this period as well. Here's Ferreira, the bouncer gets in between the legs of Miller. And the Six Nations bench applauding as Brent Cologne was right there. And he signals no goal. From out of the corner, here's Vaughn Harris. Harris chased all the way back into the corner now. We'll put it far side for Banesh. Buffalo to Calgary as they take the shot, as now Harris and Magden will tie up. Up top, and it looks like it's just a lot of face mask grabbing. No gloves dropped as of yet, and the officials will get there before that happens, and Tyson Bell flipping the stick to his <laughs> Calgary teammate, Vaughn Harris. Two minutes each, I would imagine, for roughing. as it's still a three goal lead, 13-10, after a big second period there for Six Nations. 
five goals still in the period though for Brampton. If you can average five throughout the game, 15 is usually enough to win you lacrosse games. So five minutes in, still looking for our first from either side here. But Brampton definitely in this one. These are the ones you need and want to win, as we've been saying all year in our early season coverage of Junior A and Major Series Lacrosse before the big boys get back to full strength. That shot just wide of Clayton will result in a shot clock violation. Liam Burns will send down the far side where Tyson Bell will leave for Bennett Drake. Jordan Dance will down Dance back around. Spinning away the shot there. Oh into the jersey of Miller. He's not sure where it is, but definitely making the save. Not sure if that hit body or equipment. As Marty Hill ducks under the low bridge. It's easy to say that you want to win this against the big clubs, but as we said, Brampton, not as shorthanded, but still missing regulars like Connor Eustace and Daryl Robertson, Brooker Muir. And I'm sure there will be others who will be inserted into the lineup as this season progresses. Here's Quinn Pallas. Definitely the omissions are bigger on the side of Six Nations so far. And it could be a while before they come back depending what happens down in Georgia. Here's Ferreira. That sidearm shot skipping off the back glass. And the attempt to bat it there by TJ Sanders. Will mean that we'll restart at center for Six Nations. Point with it. To the far side, Durston just pushed out wide at the last minute by Houtby. As Harris will set a pick on his man, Durston again. Played back here and now Houtby again filling in his man, this time Kyle Jackson as Clayton able to come away with a save. Played up the near side, Matthew Bennett will quickly push to Caputo who just jogs down the far boards. Pick and a roll there by Bennett Drake, hits the inside of the post and it pops back out. As we close in on eight minutes gone here in the third period. Bennett Drake back here for Robinson. Robinson looking back for Melnichenko, and he's got Kranz all over him. Through the legs, though, nifty play. Ten on the shot clock. Robinson, hard one that goes off the back boards. Bounces all the way back down the floor. And Clayton will play catch with Brandon Miller. They'll keep everything running here as the shot clock sounds. Wayne Van Every, a bouncer for Vaughn Harris. Durston. Trying to get away from Magnin. Point with the ball now. We'll go over. Durston does get away from Magnin. Takes it to the crease and goes five hole on Clayton. And they had to score four late in the third to tie it, including one at the very end of regulation. Point and Van Every on the assists. As Point now has six points, Van Every with four, three of those are assists. Liam Burns up over setter quickly for Mike Burke. Into the corner, Sanders. And Quinn Pallas. Pallas a side arm shot, another one off the inside of the pipe on the near side that takes the wrong hop out if you're a fan of Brampton. Melnichenko going down, as is Jordan Dance as the entire pile looks for this loose ball. Still in the feet there. It looked like a Briar Jonathan before being picked out by Melnichenko. That opens up a lot of room for Mike Burke, who did get the shot, but nice posturing on the far side to make sure that one didn't roll outside the crease. As we are about to hit the halfway mark of the third period. Here's Banesh to the far half boards. Over the top, it comes for Bomberry. Banesh again rips a shot in, and Clayton 
there to make the save. Clayton off to the right for Connor Brown. As we said, wearing number 33, the shot there coming from Caputo. Kranz taken into the boards and it looked like that open space for Bennett Drake, but ball moves over to the near side for Dance instead. Robinson using his size to get in towards the net, couldn't get a shot away as he had a man on his stick. Here's Pallas. Pallas with Kranz on him, brief pick there looking for the man on the near side and a low shot, quick release from Jordan Dance as he spun around. And Brandon Miller reacted last second to make that save. 11 minutes gone. Decent 50-50, considering the crowd size. North of $100 here tonight is Vaughn Harris working in. Shot in, looking for point. He steps in the crease. And the ball caught up in his feet. The bench wants the delay of game call. But it's not going to come. It'll be restarted, though, by Mike Burke. Down in the Brampton end. Robinson, now Sanders. Hibben Houtby working the near side into the corner. Quinn Palace, nifty shot and good body control in on the crease. As the Chiefs are able to get the rebound out. And they'll set up a counterattack. Banesh to point. In the corner, Bomberry, Van Every, Banesh. This game very reminiscent of last night in Brooklyn. Will it be the same result? Point. Brooklyn is losing to Peterborough this evening as we tape this game for you. So perhaps Six Nations a bit more powerful of an opponent despite their low attendance numbers from the regulars here in this game. We know what their depth is like through Junior A and B as well as the Six Nations Rivermen in Senior B. Here's Rob Marshall. Marshall a couple fakes before finally passing to the far side for Durston. Four goal lead here for the Chiefs. Heading down to the final seven minutes. There's a nifty goal. Thought it was a goal. Thought it could have also been a crease violation. Kyle Jackson was right there, as was Blair Ferguson, and he saw it all the way. As Bennett Drake goes to the far side. Burke off the bench. Jordan Dance into the middle. Robinson looking for it on the near side, but that had to clear a number of bodies before getting all the way across, and it didn't quite just make it. Corbett with speed. Corbett pushed outside by Patrick Miles. Miles goes to the same shoe shack as Melnichenko, it looks like. So those two have the bright orange kicks. Not quite as bright. Not quite as orange, I guess I should say, as Banesh as the shot comes from Van Avery, but it's a brighter orange. On the feet of Melnichenko. Here's Ferreira over the top. This is the aforementioned Melnichenko. He gets buried as he tried to take the backhand shot and Kranz is the one that comes up slow. As here's Durston. Over center, Quinn Palace all over him. Pardon me, it is Rob Marshall. Leaven made that mistake earlier as Marshall has the big black wrap. Here's the far side, the pass and the goal from Burns. <laughs> or pardon me, six minutes left to go. Three goal lead, pardon me. I said it earlier, very reminiscent of the way last night went for this Brampton team. It was about right in this spot as Bell scores. No, in the crease as they thought they had it. And you know that's what they're saying on the bench underneath us. Is they did it yesterday against a Brooklyn squad that was missing a lot of regulars. Of course, we've already heard of a few 
commitments out west from some of those Brooklyn Redmen. As Six Nations will get a slight reprieve here. In the corner, Bomberry up top. Returning near side. Back via Kyle Jackson. Van Every and Banesh working on the left side now as Banesh was swarmed and had that drop out of his stick. Back for Van Every, looking for Banesh. That hits the body of Tyler Ferreira. Ferreira and Banesh are tied up. Van Every being double teamed. And Bennett goes down on the play. Exactly five minutes left in regulation time. Goodness, Brampton just hanging out. Hanging in there, I should say. Jacob Kranz back on the floor. We saw him come up lame earlier. As Brandon Robinson works to throw a pick on the near side. Shot from Burke. Skips in front of Miller and rolls into the corner. Paulus is going to put it into the spot, looking to pick it up. As now Phil Caputo comes over to help. Getting there first, though, Shane Simpson now. All but two four runners on the floor are in there. As is Brandon Miller. Ball long gone as it's taken down the floor. Thought that may have been a fake for a second from Shane Simpson. But Simpson's now going to put on the brakes. Here's Vaughn Harris trailing the play. That shot just wide. Not sure if it caught a piece of the post. They're going to say no as Mike Burke. Looked like he tried to step on the gas there. And it may not be much left in the tank. Another hot, humid day. Not a, as hot as it's been or will get here at Memorial as Bennett Drake gets a second opportunity. That one just wide. As we're under four minutes left to play here in the third period. But we thought we heard a big rainstorm pass through in that second intermission. As well, it is starting to cool down a little bit, but definitely very hot downstairs. Six Nations will push it down the far side. Vaughn Harris, Ryan Banesh, send it into the corner for Bomberry. Banesh with the shot, and that one's a low one, into the corner, played out by Tyson Bell. And it looks like Bennett's going to set the pick for Bell. As Gill took a wild swipe. Now he eats it right into the midsection as the shot came there from Brandon Robinson. This is Gill trying to handle the loose ball. We'll push to the far side. As Durston wears the full leg brace, Rob Marshall with the same knee, but it's wrapped and the blue shoes. Number 14, Rob Marshall. Here's Bomberry into the corner. Durston over to the far side now. Big whack there. And then the shove after the fact into the crease for Clayton. And it will be a crease violation right as the shot clock sounds, and it'll be brought up over center. Far side, Caputo. Played back here for Quinn Paulus. Paulus returns it near side, Jordan Dance. Dance looking for Burke. And those two can't connect. As it tipped off the defender, stick goes almost the entire length of the floor. Six on the clock now as Paulus just trying to beat the shot clock. Looks five hole on Brandon Miller. Rob Marshall there to take the rebound pass and now you start counting possessions if you're on that Brampton bench as they trail by three at the two minute warning. A much lower pace to this period than we saw in the first two. As Bomberry pushes it in the corner, Vaughn Harris. Harris Van Every, far side Durston and he won't get a shot as now Burns has to get the reset. And as I said, they were counting possessions, so is the bench, as they're gonna pull Clayton here, Burke and Caputo, Quinn Palace looks like the extra man will be Tyler Ferreira, as Robinson gets worked over by Kranz in the middle. Here's Palace up top, dance hole, that one changed directions at the last second, as Miller saw it just go slightly wide, up out of play. Gill with the restart on the far side. Keeping it back in the defensive zone. Now Banesh will send it far side as we near the final minute. 
Luke Magnin after Banesh as it's played here for Houtby. Perfectly timed stick check there to get it away from Durston. And now Brampton looking to push possession. Luke Magnin backs away and goaltender out Quinn Palace off the bench. He's got a retreat here. 43 seconds left in the period. Now 40 as Burke gets into the offensive zone. 10 on the clock. Quinn Palace. Caputo's up top. They go to dance in front. And the stick check there as it's played off the glass, though. Ferreira, the big shot. 27 seconds left. Six Nations does not have a timeout. Remember, they burned one early in the game on the Brandon Miller missing neck guard. And then one in, in for the final shot in that second period. Brampton has both of theirs. But with 11 seconds left to go, Six Nations can kill all of this with the shot clock a non-factor as Bomberry's gonna go all the way down into the corner and looks like white flag from Phil Caputo. Oh, rings it off the crossbar right at the horn. And there is your final score, 14-11. Caputo tried the buzzer beater once again, but Six Nations, you could argue a bit of a scare. It started in a very awkward way, but it finishes with a W all the same for the Six Nation Chiefs, 14-11. Our next broadcast here on the JVI Sports Network in the major series comes your way Sunday from the Coburg Community Center, Coburg Nissan Kodiaks Lacrosse on the JVI Sports Network again coming your way this Sunday. Visit our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash JVI Sports Network to subscribe, to be notified of all the games when they'll be posted and of course on Twitter at JVI Video.